the gun go off. We see the smoke almost paralleling the smoke from the steam engine uh, coming off of, of the gun as this happens. Um, and we see the person he is shooting at. Who is it? Me! It's you. Okay. <laughs> I love that. Um, uh, so, <laughs> so. <laughs> just stepping in. I didn't in see first. anyone else jumping up. <laughs> <laughs> love that. Uh, jumping right in. Uh, so we see, we see the gun raised. We see the crack. Um, or we hear the crack, we see the smoke, and we get a shot of you. Um, Sean, do you want to describe for us what you look like here as you are on the back of the train as well? Uh, I want you to picture how I look sitting at the table right now, uh, but with way more fucking pine needles in my face. <laughs> uh, we are uh, rocketing down this hillside. I look uncomfortable. Uh, I got a coat. Uh, I think I, the second I heard the first crack, I jumped in between two cars, grabbed on a ladder, and I'm reaching for a piece of my jacket to come up over the top and get this guy. I love that. Uh, we, we hear the first crack go off. We see you leap down, um, pull yourself up as you're grabbing the gun. Go ahead and mark that you have a hand weapon, since that's uh, what you're taking there. Um, and then we see you lift yourself up over the over the train. You're about two cars back from him at this point, about the six car back. Um, as you peek your head up, you see the barrel pointed at you again, the triggers being pulled. Uh, you're gonna get another shot fired at you. What do you wanna do here? Um, this guy's a scientist. Do we assume or do assume. I know that he's a soldier? Assume that he's a scientist. You would make the assumption given his outfit that he is a scientist then I think this guy firing from prone on top of a moving train is not gonna be able to hit the side of the barn and I'm gonna <laughs> let him fire wildly in reverse while I steady my shot. I love that. Okay, that sounds good. So uh, so we see you uh, uh, pulling yourself up. You're gonna steady your shot. I'm gonna have you make a control roll here. I will <laughs> set the expectations here for this, that this is one, a high stakes roll. And two, uh, on a mixed success or a miss here, um, you will take some some body marks from getting shot. On a mixed success, uh, on a mix, so I need I, so a six would help me not get shot, yes. right? Yes. <laughs> uh, I mix, know the rules. Uh, <laughs> um, a big success would not be as bad as a miss here, but you are just letting him shoot at you. Yes, that's correct. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to go ahead and spend a nerve. Okay. Drive, because I have sharpshooter. When you want to make a ranged attack with a weapon, you may spend one nerve to steady your aim before shooting and add plus two dice to your next shot at this target. So, are you just popping up and shooting at him while he's shooting at you? Is that kind of the thought? I am pop. I, like I'm in between two cars. Yeah. I'm gonna put just my eyes above. I'm giving him just the top of my uh -huh. head to aim at on a moving train. Arm over the side, steadied on the ground, uh, and uh, I'm gonna take my shot at him, okay. and uh, I'm gonna let him fire wildly. If this guy can clip the top of my cranium on a moving train, he deserves it. <laughs> um, uh -huh. um, hmm. And Great, so you make a control roll here? I'm gonna make a control here, uh, and I'll go ahead actually and throw another drive on there just okay. for an extra die. Sounds good. Okay. Everybody's dead. <laughs> that's a mixed success, that's a five. That's a five, okay, it's a mixed success. Um, so, uh, here's what happens here. Uh, you shoot, he shoots. You're a better shot than he is. Know this, but as the sound of the bullet traveling out of the barrel of your gun reverberates in your ears, um, you feel uh, a kickback like you're not used to from this gun. Uh, and then suddenly feel searing pain on your hand. Uh, at that same time, you see him uh, get hit in the shoulder from him leaning up, um, like the back of the shoulder, uh, and uh, go down. Uh, his um, arm looks as though it, the arm that had the gun, it looks as though it's um, uh, co being covered in blood here. But as you look down at your own hand, you see that there is um, the, the bullet probably hit the gun. Uh, your gun is completely out of, like use now, gotcha. and your uh, and your hand is just covered in blood. You can go and take a body mark for me. Uh, however, I see it coming. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So right under Sean uh -huh. is Marion. 
Uh, as soon as I see you drop down and I see you moving up the ladder, your old buddy Marion is there right beside you. And as I see him go over the side to take aim, I'm right underneath him. Mm -hmm. And I steady myself, I close my eyes. And as soon as I have this premonition mm -hmm. of what you just described flashing through my mind, you feel a tug behind you and you hear me say, drop the gun. Uh, I uh, unthinkingly drop the gun and toss it. And I'll yeah. try to catch it with my uh, uh, with my vest. I'll catch it to protect myself <laughs> right. from the heat a little bit. Love that. So I used uh, uh, an ability called Premonition where I have momentary visions of the future. When an ally is about to take one or more marks, I burn an intuition resistance to warn them about the coming danger. danger and then I soak so. one of these marks. Great, so you take that body. You do not take that body. You soak that body. And instead you pull him down. This guy is still shot, uh, but you were able to pull the gun in time to make sure that he did not he was not able to hit Sean in return. What happened? Hot potato, hot potato, hot potato. Oh, oh, I got it, I got it, I got it. Uh, uh, I'm gonna throw it into my jacket um, uh, and look to you and say, good eye, Marion. Uh, and I'm gonna just clap you on the arm. Uh, and I'm going to uh, kick the door to the train car yeah. in to move through the train towards the car. That Love that, on. we see the door fly open. This is a passenger car that you are uh, bursting into. So you just get eyes on you as this happens. We're gonna cut away from that. Uh, uh, and uh, I am whipping back and forth. I'm seeing, I hear the gunshot, I whip back, I go back to where you are. Uh, Sean, there's, tr there, there's, there's trouble in the back. We gotta go. Hey, um, uh, I'm, I am I'm walking, it's, uh, the, the guy we're chasing, was he moving to the front of the train or the back? Move the front of the train. Towards the engine, towards the, yeah. Uh, you, you say trouble in the back? Uh, I'm gonna go. Hey, there's trouble in the front. <laughs> uh, I, I gotta say like, <laughs> I, I look at you and I'm like, hey, trouble everywhere. Right. Um, <laughs> uh, and I'm going to say, you need to go get uh, Annie B and uh, Jean? Yeah. All right. I'll be there. Hey, thanks for the heads up. Uh, and I'm going to start to uh, run through the train yeah. uh, uh, after the dude that I know is going to the front. Yeah, we see do I happen to know? Towards. Do I happen to know where uh, Nathaniel is in the train? Is um, he, or so Nathaniel no would be behind you. Uh, so everyone's behind me and I'm running you're forward running, after You're dude. like four cars from the front, which is where all the passenger trains are. Okay, cool. I'm just going to start to... Uh, uh, that guy is... Did I see that guy really hoofing it on the roof? Or was he like struggling to make progress? Oh, it's hard up on the roof. So, so I'm not going to run. I'm just going to sort of move my gun around in my jacket <laughs> and walk politely nodding to the <laughs> car. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, as to not arouse suspicion, um, uh, I'll just start to walk through. And if anyone grills me any more about it, I'll, I'll do something. But the best defense is not opening your fucking mouth in the first place. I love that. <laughs> Go ahead and make a hide roll for me as you do this, because there are people on board that are, you know, potentially people on board here that are Eon's members as well that are looking out for people that they are not with. That's a three. That's a three. Uh, you continue forward. <laughs> Nobody seems to bother you here as you move to the next car, but as soon as those doors close, you take a look back and see one person get up from their seat and move towards the doors behind you. Okay, so they're in the car I just left. They are. Uh, uh, they picked up my tail. Um, uh, I am going to... Uh, is there anything here in between the cars like... Uh, like a bolt that you would like lift up to lock a door mm -hmm. or anything else like that that I see in the sort of like area. Like I assume there's like chains and like things attaching the two sure. cars together. Is there anything physically that's like a bar out here? In yeah, uh, in the immediate, there doesn't look to be anything that is, that it like will, uh, that will disattach mm -hmm. quickly, but go ahead and make a survey roll for me because that's to like give a more thorough look at what's around. Maybe there's something underneath the carriage of the train or something. Uh, three. three. Yeah, there does not appear to be anything around here, and you notice the person getting closer and closer to you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lean back mm -hmm. as I see them approaching me, and I'm gonna uh, light a cigarette to look like I'm just smoking out here in between the cars. I love that. Uh, they like, they lock eyes with you, um, and uh, you see them reach into the, their lapel. We cut away from them over to you. <laughs> uh, we cut to Sean as this is happening. What do you want to do? Uh, how close are these two guys? 
Uh, these guys are about two cars back. No, no, I mean oh. the guy, the, you said that I was made and that people are like There's coming. one guy, he's headed straight for you as you're smoking the cigarette. He's coming uh, towards the train car uh, where doors. the doors would open. Are the door, the doors like sliding yeah. doors? Uh -huh. uh, so you need to open them Correct. all the way to be able to walk through. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to get my, give myself another piece of equipment. Love it. Uh, I reach in for a pair of handcuffs for this science uh, scientist. <laughs> Say, buddy. You're gonna be knocked out. Um, <laughs> and uh, I'm going to handcuff the handle uh -huh. to one of the chains on the outside oh, of the that. car so that you can't open the door. Uh -huh. So just lock it and uh, uh, and I'm gonna look at the guy who's walking towards me. You know, hey, fuck you. Uh, <laughs> and I'm gonna flick the he cigarette. grabs the door and tries to pull it and it is locked. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, and he, his hand immediately pulls out, uh, his other hand pulls out of his lapel, mm -hmm. um, and he uh, grabs the back end of like uh, of like a, uh, a gun uh, and starts to try and break the glass that is sort of separated. Uh, I'm up the ladder after the scientist. Love that. Up on top of the car, you see the scientist uh, pulling himself along, still two cars ahead of you. Um, what do you want to do? Uh, this motherfucker, all right. Um, uh, I'm gonna say, hey! Be reasonable. <laughs> you crawling on a moving train. Have some self-respect. <laughs> we got gotcha. you. Uh, he turns around um, and he holds. Uh, he's holding the uh, the device in his hands, and you see it now. This is what it looks like. Um, he has it in his hand, and uh, and he threatens it over the side of the train, uh, and points the gun at you. What do you want to do? Uh, I am going to, um, uh, the, the, he's holding this thing over the side of the train uh -huh. and holds the gun at me. Um, uh, I am going to, uh, attempt to shoot the gun out of his hand. Oh, yeah. Okay. So what I will say is that if on, on a, on a mixed success, this thing will go rolling. Um, it will not immediately fall off, but it will put it in danger of being lost. I would love to come to these woods some other night when I'm not being shot uh -huh. at and look for that fucking thing. That sounds great to me. <laughs> his, this piece of his super science, uh -huh. I'm going to assume that he likes a lot more than I do. So, I, you know, it's like... Yeah, the assignment from Candela was to get it, but it's like, at what cost, yeah. right? Like, yeah. Yeah, buddy, I'm, I, I hate to tell you. They're not gonna give that thing to me when you bring it back. When you bring it back, so it, priority more for you than me. Great. Um, uh, I'm gonna burn just a whole bunch of nerve. <laughs> um, let's go one. I'll do. I'll burn one for sharpshooter. Okay. And then I'll burn two more for four. So I'm gonna be rolling with six. Damn, that's the most you can roll with. The most I can roll with. Um, I mean, we're we're up there. <laughs> Uh, and actually, sorry, there's one, two, three, four, five. Six. Sorry, it's just, oh, so I'm only, yeah. I only have to burn that many to get six. Right. Because um, a sharpshooter. Because a sharpshooter. Um, and I'm just going to shoot the gun out of his hand yep. and, and be ready for a dead sprint yeah. afterwards. So good. Okay, we roll. Um, that's a five. And I'm, what I'm going to go ahead and do here is I'm actually going to spend a resistance. Okay. Oh to re-roll two of the die as well. Uh, no sixes, that's a, that's a mixed success. Mixed success. Oh, yeah. okay. That's all right. So, Deborah. here's what happens. You shoot. The gun goes flying out of his hand. Uh, it clamors along the train and then falls off the edge. He with the device still in his hand, falls backwards in between the train cars. You hear a click, and suddenly your train car is falling back behind the engine. He's at the engine car with one train car behind it. Does that mean that we, do we all do the rest of us feel a jolt? Uh, it's so subtle when these train cars separate okay. that you definitely can't tell immediately. But if someone were to look out the front window, you'd see the steam engine of the train, like moving further away from the actual train itself. What would you say our speed is? 12 trees a second? <laughs> Probably 25 trees. You're, you're almost on a complete 
like we are on a descent. Descent. Right. Yeah, it's very bad. So we're still going fast. We're still going Gravity. very fast. And away fast. from the bricks currently. Away from the bricks. Um, so what do you want to do? Uh, this guy has fallen. I hear a click. He's still got the device. His gun has flown off mm -hmm. into the into the things. Everybody's got to make it hard. And I'm going to start <laughs> running. Uh, and I'm going to run and leap onto the engine. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> as fast as I can. Sounds like a move roll for me. Make that roll. Okay. <laughs> we're, we're gonna burn all the rest of the, the nerve drive here. down to the bone. Down to the, down the bone. bone. First hour, down to the bone. Here we go. Okay, that's a six. That's a six. Six. Uh, describe for me how you get this thing from him. Um, so he's he's in the engine. He is. Uh, I still have my gun. Um, uh, as the as the cars start to move apart, you just hear. <laughs> uh, leap, and I grab the lintel of like the roof uh -huh. and double foot kick him in the chest yeah. through the yes. engine car. Boom, he goes flying backwards. Uh, and the thing spins up in the air and I catch it midair. Oh, so good. You don't gotta be a fucking prick about it. <laughs> Running around like this. You jump over trains. <laughs> All right, uh, and I'm going to uh, yeah, grab the thing yeah. and uh, I'm just gonna stand over his prostrate body. Yeah, he's uh, like, oh God, oh. Now your friend made me lose the handcuffs, which is why this has to happen. I'm gonna stomp on his head and knock him unconscious. Yeah, you stomp on his head and knock him unconscious. As we see the foot come down onto his head, we cut back to uh, we cut back to the two of you. I think. Was that on your gilded knife? Oh, it was. Get that drive. Yeah. Take the drive back. Thanks, Annie back. B. Yes, <laughs> yes, I'm just yes, looking yes, out for you. Yes. Uh, we describe what we did just so that people know. Uh, uh, so I rolled. Uh, I rolled all these dice. My gilded die because my uh, because uh, my strike is gilded. Um, uh, on that uh, uh, on that die, I replenish one of my nerve drive, great. which means all this all these resources I'm burning a little bit come back to me. <laughs> great, great, great. Uh, wonderful. We cut back the two of you. What are we doing here? We're dragging a, a chicken dragging crate. A crate of chickens. Crate of chickens. <laughs> How far away? Oh, he's down. Boys. Yeah, are the boys anywhere up ahead? Uh, the yeah, so, so I think that at this point, uh, the two of you, have you left the train car yet? No, you're still yeah, in. Uh, <laughs> shit. Uh, can I see? Yeah, uh-huh. Can you see that real quick? Yeah, do you want to pass that? Yes. Sorry, we'll pass it out. Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. If you're seeing me from far away, it's just me in the back of the engine going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I see him. It looks like he got the... the it looks like you got the thingy, though. Right, so a simple uh, <clears throat> point to make. Um, the engine not only controls. Uh, uh, I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna turn to look. The guy's unconscious. I've got uh -huh. this thing, uh -huh. uh, and I'm looking, and I'm there's like, a, "There's a drive. There's like a what's it called? A, not a driver of the." Oh, there's, oh, there's a, oh, like, the engineer. The engineer. There's an engineer, and he's like, "The fuck is going on here, buddy? <laughs> it's a long story. Look. What's that in your hand? <laughs> if I knew, uh, listen." <laughs> You should slow this train down, because we just come undone from the whole rest of the train. Oh shit, he says, and grabs the brake and starts to oh, <laughs> like oh. slow slow the steam oh, engine okay. down. Uh, and as that happens, you see that they're, they're starting to come back together here. When Boys, you I have a feeling we should brace for impact. Uh oh. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna look at the guy and say, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you when they're about to touch, okay? <laughs> I assume I just put the bolt back in through the holes. Uh, he goes, I don't, I don't do that part. What do you mean you don't do that part? I don't part? do that part! We, why, I don't do all the other parts either. I have some awareness. Um, <laughs> I don't, I don't, can I leap out of the, the train car and just look in between the cars uh -huh. and see if there's any sort of... I was going to say, yeah, uh, please. I look at you and say, that's some quick thinking, Doc. Way to go. Hey, did you pass a guy trying to break through a handcuff on the way here? Did we? No? Uh, it was a broken window. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to... Whip my gun up and just shoot straight up. Yeah, uh, uh, you, you hear, oh, and then a guy like falls yeah. over. Wow. Amazing. Should have known that broken window was smart. Smart guy, that guy was smart. <laughs> I mean, he's dead now, but he was. Smart. We see, we get a, we get a shot wide of the train as a man falls off the top, and uh, the train continues into. What are, what are he eyes you the device in your hand. Interesting, he says. Yeah, I'll say. Do we know what it is? No, I don't know what it is, but I named the little guy Johnny. John. Is it, uh, is it 
Is it moving in there? Yeah. What is it? Uh huh. All right. It's a, it's like a purple little like worm thing. If I may, Johnny looks like something I may have seen before. Oh. It's a creature known as an androphage. Androphage. Used possibly in um, an individual to induce a state of euphoria. Euphoria. Temporary <laughs> euphoria. Before, before, of course, the creature takes over their entire body and bloats them to death. So it's like a parasite? In a sense. But it gives you euphoria before it kills you. Exactly. Eons would often use it uh, as an anesthesia of sorts. Of sorts. They've heard of bourbon, right? We've got bourbon. Right, that's a little Why less dead. That? What's that? It's less I'm sorry, I'm a little. How many people know about a thing like this? I mean, how common are these things? Mm. It's not in common practice to use on patients, certainly not in the medical field. I'd say it's for those seeking more of an experience. I feel like, you know, the least the guy could do is buy you dinner first, right? Recreational androphage. Draven reaches out his hand. There you go. Pass it. So the device, that's like a little cage or a prison or something like that? Yes. Uh, you, uh, it, it closes the door. This is uh, where you know they often keep like items like this for safekeeping until they're transported back. Uh, while he's turned his back towards us, yeah. I lean into Sean. What are we gonna tell him about the chickens? Wait, chickens. Oh, the chickens, the chickens, the chickens. I missed the whole chickens conversation. The chickens that happened. Oh, yeah, the chickens. Yeah, the chickens. Oh, yeah, the what are worth mentioning? I, I go over and grab a, a chair. And just... Security to put in place for Would the rest of the team that was there that night. Would we stop? Sorry, will you say that again? Uh, Johnny, little guy, androphage? Yeah. Uh, what would we stop? What are they going to use him for? It's a great question. Could be for one of the dens. Could be for some sort of attack. Unclear. But I will say that the people of New Fair and the Fairlands are safer because you brought that to us. Sure. Mine is Dr. Choi, of course, but the rest, absolutely. Yes, minus Dr. Joy. I think that's the best place to start. Did we, Fran, like, what, what would we normally do with a captured Eon scientist, like the one we had in the engine of the train? Would we have, like, dropped him off somewhere? So generally, the, uh, Kendall Obscure will come in to, like, clean up messes like that, so they probably took, took them. Um, uh, so yeah, that's not something that you would have to worry about. I'm gonna look at, Mm -hmm. Just before, um, as he slides the address over, yeah. I say, these, whatever, these worm dens, where people mm -hmm. do these worms recreationally, do they have them in Nufe? Or is this something that's only going on in other uh, ways? I've heard rumor of, of these kinds of dens around here, yes. Usually for those who are wishing to get some sort of high out of it. Uh, yeah, like... Yeah, fiends running around looking to get the swarm inside their body. All right, I understand. Thank you. Mr. Kingsley, uh, sure. one more thing. Um, I know it's not my... Gee, her great. Thank you so much. It's all for you. Uh, Sean Infinity, uh, he, him. Uh, Sean is... Uh, uh, well, he's a younger soldier he enlisted in the war previously when like illegally when he was like 16 or 17 so even though it's been many years since the end of the war he's still only in like mid 20s mm. um he's got uh any article of clothing that is hard to replace is filthy and anything that's easy to replace is clean mm. uh so, so cool. uh so the suspenders and the shoes Ooh, brother, I've seen better days. <laughs> uh, shirt and the pants are fine. 
uh, minus, you know, a hole or two, but um, uh, I think Sean looks about as uh, um, to the to the I think average observer Sean looks like a healthy, fit, hale and hearty guy. Uh, but all the telltale signs of like grooming and clothing around that are of someone who doesn't go home to anybody. Mm. We pan over from Sean. Yeah. To Dr. Jean Basal to take two focus. And I'm going to use one of my, I'm going to use a gilded. Mm. Can I assist? Yeah. Uh, if you would like, certainly, Mr. Finnerty. Seeing as you did not take a single body, Damage during oh, our ordeal. Oh, champ, he's undefeated. Not a <laughs> Sorry, it's not they a competition. With that. <laughs> it's okay. So with the assist, I take an additional die. Yeah, and you'll spend a drive to do that. Thank you. Uh, you're spending, you're using focus, so you'd spend an intuition. intuition yeah. Four. Four is the highest. Is the highest. Great, so what's the move say? So the move says on a four to five, spend two. You, uh, Allison, she was uh, investigated for Candela? She was. All right. And you were close? No, uh, afterwards I was uh, taken out of the metro station. I told the kid she was dead? <laughs> yes. How sick do you gotta be where you go, hey, we gotta break it to the kids soft. Just tell them she's dead. Right. I guess there's things worse than everybody answers to somebody else. I don't know if that's true. I guess there's gotta be a few people don't answer to anybody. Uh, I'm gonna open the folder and look in at the yeah. papers. Yeah, uh, you see a description of the opening scene that we went through from the child's point of view. Mm -hmm. um, uh, is there anything in there that you'd like to ask a question about? Um, I'm gonna hand it over to Dr. Jean, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm gonna look up and say, kid says he saw his ma in a room. Not exactly herself. Seems like Candela Obscura feels like they have her under their protection, and yet she's appearing, according to Lucas, in this room in some kind of spectral form. All the way through, cleanly, um, singular. As you say that, you feel the carriage lurch to a stop. Ah, Jesus, this hernia. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Annie B, what happened? What? Little, what happened to the little pillow? <laughs> Oh, I should You're get not doing your pillow. stretches. I thought I we thought talked about I, you I doing stretches. Hernia has been real bad. That train ride really messed me up, you guys. Oh, uh, hernia. Uh, I'm thinking hemorrhoids. Oh, I was thinking something uh, else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, a little lumbar support might not be bad, though. No, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know if you can stretch a hernia. Away. Well, you can, but you don't want to know how. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You, yeah, yeah. Listen, if you got hemorrhoids, you don't want to do stretches. Oh, Let me tell you that right now. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I'm also I'm, I'm looking through the folder as, sure. as this moment lightens us up for, for, for a second. Um, I'll, I'll give you a hand out of the carriage. Oh, thank you, sweet yeah. boy. Door opens. Uh, Light pours over the folder you're looking at. The, uh, 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 one of the other members. They've stationed security there. I'm talking about vengeance, right? It's vengeance. Yeah. That's what they said. Well, let's, uh, let's stop this creature in seeking vengeance. Outside the house, is anyone positioned outside of the residence, the door, any sort of guard or sentry? As the door opens, you see there's... Uh is the is the old man in the suit coming in with us or no? no? Oh, when he saw you all arrive, he turned the corner and like disappeared. Oh, right. Left his no, left his post. Uh, yep. I'm gonna look around and say, always nice to get a warm welcome. I'm gonna take a shotgun out of my coat. Hey! Uh, <laughs> uh, I like when there's not a what do you call them? Bystanders. Uh, and I'm gonna just take lead and uh, yeah. move around the corner with a shotgun. Not shy, uh, Mr. Fennedy. I'm gonna I'm gonna take. Uh, 
as you, yeah, go ahead. How big is the house roughly when we were approaching? Sure, yeah, it's a townhouse. So, oh, it's pretty small. so it's pretty small. Uh, two story, but um, but like probably you would guess it's about a three bedroom. Uh, I'm gonna if we, if it's a small house and the guy leaves and I'm like, we, the dossier didn't say that there'd be anybody in the house that we're trying to rescue, right? Shouldn't be, but no. we should check. All right, listen up. If there's anybody in here who's human. Make a noise saying, I'm human right now. And if you don't, and you feel confused or conflicted, understand you got a 10 second window before your only greeting is two barrels in a chest. Make a sway roll for me. <laughs> I would assist you, but I, you. I don't think you need it. <laughs> what he said. Uh, it's a two. It's a two. Oh, yeah. uh, I roll, I don't have any dots in it, so it's a two. Uh, oh, when so you don't have any dots in it, you roll two and take the lowest. Takes the two. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's more for the moral, uh, it's the moral I love it. cause. I'm not, if, I'm trying, anyone, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, uh -huh. it's a, this is what's going on. Uh -huh. You have the information you need. I'm not necessarily trying to persuade any of these monsters. <laughs> it's more about like, <laughs> if Joe you're squatter. human. Dan, our due diligence. Uh, due diligence, this is a due, due, due diligence. diligence for, so, yeah, roll due diligence. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> I uh, have um, the beginning of what is a, Migraine. The a like gathering of flies that are starting to swirl around your head. No, nope, nope. Mm. Hate that. <laughs> do you do you do you feel like it's a? <laughs> no, not no, no. no. <laughs> no. You don't think I can hit him? I, you I can. Every you don't think I can hit him? Every. You hit everything. <laughs> um. <laughs> be careful in the bedroom, but. Uh, and then retract. So keep an eye on the lights. Do you think we should go around and try to light them before the sun gets too low in the sky? I'm generally a fan of more light and darkness, so <laughs> yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah, let's light them up. Great, uh, we get <laughs> as the candles on the wall take light. Uh, there's a couple of oil lamps as well throughout the house. You said Allison, the first time you saw her, before she actually got taken by the monster, right. she ran in and she had a mirror, like a larger than average mirror in her hand that she was using a fight with. That room's got broken mirrors in it. Is this monster that, you know, I said talking about light, mirrors reflect light. I'm putting pieces together and my conclusion's always gonna be, you figured it out, smash every mirror. I don't know if that's helpful though. Right. It seemed like the mirror impeded this creature's ability to do what it does, to adapt or absorb the person that they were focused on. The light, uh, I, I'm... When you were looking at the, at the broken mirror in that room, did it look, and I know it's not easy to tell, but did it look like it happened recently or a long time ago? I didn't get a sense of when. Full light? Yep. Okay. Said Allison had a lantern with her. She did. Uh, well, maybe we wanna, maybe we wanna mirror up our own. Yep. We got the hand mirror. What's it be? All right. I've got my tiny blush compact. <laughs> Look. I, you know, between that and the shotgun, I just got it. <laughs> you know, we got so many mirrors, it feels like this is hedging our bets, because it's like this thing might have a specific vulnerability to mirrors, but I think most things have a kind of broad vulnerability to shotguns, so. If there right. is a corporeal body, your shotgun Look, will come in handy. You will be able to shoot that. Great. At uh, this thing. Let's go. If I may, the flies mm -hmm. that manifested around my head and are... Hmm. Where are the flies? Still on the wall. Are they in a certain formation of any kind? They're all just parked on either side of the mm -hmm. of the threshold. There's a, a dead body in the room and the flies are all parked on the wall. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna look down and be like, no, customers don't like the sirloin, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, from Candela. Yes, yeah. No, no photos of mirrors. Wait a minute, you mean the photos Candela took of the crime scene mm -hmm. didn't have any mirrors in them? 
The photographs Candela Obscura took at the crime scene didn't have any mirrors in them. Doesn't look like it. We still have Not a file on us, right? So what? Hmm? Antonio Suarez gets murdered the day before the interior decorator gets here? No oh, uh, there aren't photos of the bathroom. It's just photos of the bedroom. Right, and there's no, no mirrors in, in this room. There's no mirrors oh, okay. in the bedroom. So the mirrors we got from other rooms in the house. Yes, okay, correct. Gotcha. Cool, cool, cool. I'm going to um, report like that the, to the like the, Yeah, like the three drawers with like the mirror. The mirror you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. 100%. Can you see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shout out to Annie B. Mm -hmm. uh, you, don't see a, uh, you don't see a teddy bear in there anyway, do you? I saw one in the photo of the, the, in the dossier. Any teddy bear? Oh, um, so the teddy bear uh, was, there were actually photographs of it in, in, the, um, uh, in the dossier uh, because it was left in the hallway outside of the bedroom. That's where he um, dropped it. That's where he dropped it. That's where he dropped it, correct. It's no longer there. It's been taken. Okay. okay. And must have confiscated it. <sighs> confiscated a poor kid's teddy bear. <sighs> what kind of heroes are we? <sighs> poor child. Right. Uh, Seeing all of this too, I mean. It's Teddy Bear. Uh, what kind of heroes are we? Uh, Poor child. Right. Uh, Seeing all of this too, I mean. Just imagining. No five year old should see anything like this. Yeah. And it seems like he saw the whole thing. So. This thing, right? How many phenomena are we aware of in the house right now? These flies on a the wall, they won't touch a dead body. No. Well, maybe they already touched the dead body, which is how they got the and bleed on them, and now they want nothing to like, do with bleh. it. Yeah. And now, we know this thing won't appear in a room with mirrors in it. Doesn't seem like it. I want to know if it's left. And I think would actually, like, almost, like, drop this towards Sean's direction. Are you all right? Did you see that? I take your arm and steady you. Are you all right, Ms. Monroe? It's not. It's all covered in... It's fine, right? It's fine. What's it say? So your family used to work with a railroad company, right? Yes, they were in very early in the railroad business in New Fair. Trap Transit. A train ticket? <sighs> Departing Steelworks Station, arriving Groundswell Station. And as you say Groundswell Station, uh, or sorry, uh, uh, Groundswell Station, um, something clicks for you. Mm -hmm. There's the newest station of your family subway that has just opened here two days ago. The groundswell is the, the newest station in New Fair. And you said you first encountered this beast in this train station. Yes, it was months ago, but. All right, groundswell station. That ticket got punched, right? I mean, we know his ticket did. You know, it seems this, whatever this beast is, it prefers darkness and the shadows, and subway tunnels are real dark. Summer 12, 1907. How many days ago is that? That was last night. Is that when the murder happened? Mm -hmm. something follow him home from the train station? Uh, quite possibly, but I think we owe it to go check out Groundswell. Yeah, that's where we're gonna go. Being bait? Yeah. Me too. Don't worry, LT. We'll get a turkey baster, baste you up, put a little garnish on top, make it real delicious. put some parsley on the edge. <laughs> See, Finity, this this is why I keep you around. <laughs> Just know how to brighten everyone's day. Hey, you know, worst thing, what's the worst thing? Are that you could just happen? hungry? Is that what's up? The, the what from the fellow back at the house? I mean, I could just be. But at least the flies won't eat you. 
Well, given your current state, I was able to heal you up a little bit, but you still do have significant injuries. I am worried about putting him out as a bait of sorts. Is there another gotta, way? I don't know. I yeah, think I we got to be strategic about it. Three bleeds, I'm going to so be right there with you. you know. I'm trying to be as out of sight as possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not saying we should use him as bait. I'm saying if we go in this train station, he's already bait. Right. He is the bait. Yeah, fair. Yes, that's fair, unavoidable. Fair. <laughs> yep. Uh, I am not afraid. I have led people into battle before. Yes, you have. Nothing different about this moment right here. Uh, Plus, my family owns this station. We're on, like, favorite terrain, friends. Right. It's true, home court. You like know, that. you should explain that to the monster. Yeah. <laughs> you say, you know, you're trespassing right now? Yeah, right. <laughs> Maybe it doesn't know. <laughs> Did it pay its fare? I mean, it owes you money. Oh, skip the turnstile. We gotta yeah, get the yeah, we gotta yeah. get the police in. We here. Sure do. Set a trap. Uh, oh. uh, <laughs> uh, you know. All right. Someone's that having fun. Like We're having fun again. Fred, <laughs> best circle ever. <laughs> With that, we cut into <laughs> the subway. What would you all like to do? Uh, I'm gonna be slow going down the steps and hang back to walk with Marion mm. as he finishes his ritual. Be like, hey pal, quick on a draw of this last couple assignments, huh? Good looking out. Thank you, Sean. Because I had a little practice. Got a question for you. Okay. We never really, we never really talk about what you could do. Have you ever seen anything that you didn't want to stop? Hmm. I think I can kind of get a sense of something is starting. And then I think it's a bit of a... Sometimes I feel like I can choose. Sometimes I, I don't. Sometimes it just happens. I just, you know, I remember that. I remember that time back in Echo Company when we had to fall back. Point of egress was compromised. Making our way through all those trenches and you were just calling out to me. Left, right, stop. You know, you just knew. And then mortar would go off. I didn't know that I could do that until then, Sean. I, I didn't know what was going on. That was my first time. But I just, I just felt like I needed to, I don't know, I just saw stuff happening in my head to you and I saw like a bullet and go clean right through you. And I had like a millisecond to, to, to recognize that it wasn't real, that it was happening, but it was about to happen. And I don't know, I mean, it freaked me out. Now I know a little bit more about it, and I, I, I hope that my, our time together in Candela, I hope that it helps me understand that a little more. I just think you should always be really careful about who you tell that you can do that. I just think only the people here know, no one outside of Candela. That's how it should stay. Are you okay? If I wasn't, you'd be able to tell, right? Sometimes. If you weren't, would you tell me? Fuck out of here. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> I let him walk ahead and I watch him. It's a moment. We sit on you. What other organizations will do to those that witnessed? If you say it's the tunnels, LT. Let's go to the tunnels. We certainly have enough light. The other way. Yeah. Great. So you guys are on uh, the train so, tracks. So only one or... person would roll. The other person could spend intuition to help to them. Assist. Oh, I'll copy that. Assist. Okay. I'll assist. Okay. So you'll take another die. Got it. I mean, do I need to go onto the train tracks to do it? No. We'll go on the you edge do it from here. 
the idea of out. stepping onto train tracks just is like <laughs> terrifying. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So for right now, you're okay from here. What? Here's what I will say. Yeah. If you want to step out on the train tracks, it will be more effective of a roll. I will give you better information if Five you decide minutes. to do that. You have time. Five minutes. Are they electrified? The rails? I'm gonna jump into the train tracks. Great. Uh, Come on. Uh, you think me and Tony and Jimmy weren't down here all the time? <laughs> yeah, well, it always takes one of you to do it first for me to do it, okay? So, I know! Okay. You're still playing tag along all these years later. Come on. Mm. I jump in. Front desk, do you even ride the metro? Place, <laughs> 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 you don't ride it? We see, we see a couple of people like. <laughs> Front desk, the concierge? Where do you live? <laughs> uh, they right, they fuck off go. and leave. <laughs> As you're traversing in, uh, I'm gonna have um, somebody make a uh, move or control roll to help move or navigate you all I in the right direction. Make a move. Roll. Come on. Great. So anybody that wants to help can. You don't have to. I will say this is a role for all of you. It's a group action. I can. So all of you are doing this together. Uh, but this say, will determine um, the macro of do, what this I'll is. I'll do control. Do control. Okay. And I'll say we uh, we saw this coming. You know, B gave a little bit of a heads up. Mm. She knows her way around the tunnels mm. of the Undercity. Mm -hmm. And uh, brought those lanterns, so I'm gonna give you an extra die. Amazing, nice. that sounds good. Um, do we wanna use one, how, how critical is this for? Do we wanna use yeah. one for Gilded die? So what I will say is that this will determine how difficult the path towards whatever you felt is. I mean, we got three of them. We could use one, or we could save them up for later, but. Let's use one. Let's use one. Use one. Save Great. two for Make when. good. It tries to kill. I feel like this is a pinnacle moment. Uh, I will take the four on a gilded. Great. To get the drive back. Nice. Uh, love that. On a four. Yeah, you can just, I'll take it. You're gone forever. Yeah, Bye. perfect. You rolled a six. <laughs> <laughs> You should have saved it. <laughs> uh, as you all make your way through the tunnel, you feel. I, f I filled it up a lot before we. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll unholster the shotgun. Yeah. Um, I am gonna stay close, about two feet behind. Nathaniel, and I have the mirror in my hand. This preacher, how did we know it was a preacher's particular scream? Uh, it sounded otherworldly. Mm. Um, it didn't sound as though it was human. Uh, I'm gonna look around everyone with the mirrors and light ready, uh -huh. my shotgun. Out to the ball game. <laughs> I'm gonna shoulder it and uh, start singing as I walk down the tunnel I towards the that. creature. We get a super wide shot here of you leading out front it's your creature. creature. Sorry, I was like a holy man is screaming. How do we know? A this? creature. Oh, oh, creature. Oh, that. It's right up against the railway. Okay. You would assume that the train almost Smash. scrapes it. Uh, I'm gonna look at this thing and, you know, as Brennan, I see a creature hiding in a hole and I go, aw, a little guy. Uh -huh. uh, Sean lives in a world of only eldritch horror. So he goes, <laughs> oh, got it. Blam! Uh, and is going to shoot and attempt to kill this Great, thing. Oh, I love that. Oh, go, ahead oh. make a, go ahead and make a control roll for me as you shoot at this thing. Uh, we'll, need to have a gun around. We'll, burn, we'll burn a drive. Um, uh, what did you do, sharpshooter? Yep, love it. That's, a, that's double sixes. Double oh, sixes, yeah. it's a critical success. There so. We go. There we go. Describe for me what this thing looks like as you take it down. It's going to fall towards you so you get the chance to look at it. It's going to die. Um, uh, Sean looks around, looks at you like the Molotov, says, "We have like, how many minutes do we have? Uh, and goes, bam! Uh, and before the creature falls, Sean 
before the creature falls and hits the, the ground, I'm already unholstering rope because that problem is solved and I don't need to look at it. And I'm gonna throw a rope up into the hole uh, to get us into the tunnel. I love that. Yeah. Uh, we see- Hey doc, you think I'm bad for the scientific community? And I'm gonna throw the grappling hook up into the- uh, With a full success, the rope stays uh, on one of the curls of metal. It's not difficult to get it to. Cool, I'm gonna help whoever needs help to get it. Great. Uh, he you does. can help That's me first. Cool. The stress is very full. Doc, I promise <laughs> I'll help preserve your modesty. Nobody look. Um, I'm <laughs> help get the doctor up the rope. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you start making your way up the rope. I'm gonna have you make a, uh, a roll for me here. Um, I would give you either move or control to make this. Great. Uh, if it's possible for me to, I don't have. I don't. You don't have, have to, to spend to anything burn. to help, but I'm you can help. say narratively you're going to help here. Um, because I'm making my way up the rope. Exactly, and so uh, it would be oh. more effective. One. So. <laughs> this this you will not, make your way. Do, okay, I was going to say, does helping do anything? Help it it does. Make uh, narratively, uh, it is. Um, it uh, it uh, affects the expectations of the role. So by you helping. Uh, so what I will say is it's a 25 foot drop down. Oh. Oh, so shit. it is 25 feet up. It is 25 feet down off of the metal steel plate. Um, I don't drop. So I'm just <laughs> clarifying the expectations uh, here. Whoa. I'm going to get the back half of the rope Great. and I'm going to toss the other end up to you and say, just hold on, brace your feet against the back Great. of the wall and just feed her down the- Great, slowly we see repel. you slowly rappel down as you land safely on the earth below you. You feel your feet sink in about three inches or so as you pull them up. He's currently at three. Oh no. Uh, okay. Um, uh, I am going to, who has, who has good move between us? You have good move? I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to say, Marion, get over there quick. Get ready to pull on the other side. Okay. Um, uh, and uh, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll help as well. Okay, so are you helping with the with the with the thing? Do I get another die? Uh, not 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 mechanically, not die wise, okay, but you okay. are helping to do this. So you're gonna get over, and then that will uh, that could effectively make this countdown not go as quickly. Okay. Is it worth using a gilded? We have uh, two more people to get through this. No, no, no. I'm good. I'm good. Okay. okay. I'm good. Uh, I'm gonna go, burn go, one go. of my own drives. Okay. So now I have one drive left. I have two in move, and it's gilded, so I should be okay. Okay. I hope. Four. That's a four. That's a mixed success. It's going to tick down one to two. two. Okay, better get over. Um, uh, with you pulling on the other on the other side, uh, I'm going to, uh, uh, yeah, I'll say uh, LT. No, you've got to go for it. It has to be you to go first. I don't like to spend you, time arguing with the train on the way. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and I'm going to go through. Come on. I can follow orders. You got uh, the shotgun. Use it. Yeah. Uh, Remember well, me. <laughs> a guy with a lit Molotov standing with a <laughs> uh, Okay, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna jump through. Um, uh, I got move. I got two dice here. Um, uh, we got another gilded. We we do have these two more. more. Yeah, there's two of us. All right, there's two of us. Let's take a gilded. Yep. Good. All right. Uh, oh, I'm gonna burn a resistance yes. to reroll yes. two. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm gonna burn a resistance to reroll two. I hear the train coming. Oh my god. Oh! What is it? Oh! I don't make it through. It's a three. It's a three. So that ticks down to nothing. The two of you are left as the train is approaching you. Ooh. What do you want to do? In the, 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 the train is approaching. The train is like moments uh, away. I'm going to. Um, so I've the used fuck? I've used two of my items, mm -hmm. correct? You can use one more. I can use one more. Um, uh, I'm gonna say, LT, I didn't want to do this, and I'm gonna take a grenade, throw it on the side, and push you up, and go, and you, the last couple seconds before the train hits, I'm just gonna blow up the steel container. Oh. I'm gonna say, everyone on the side, step back! Um, <laughs> what? You got a grenade? <laughs> I've been holding on to it. Oh my right. god. <laughs> I explosives are explosives. Are explosives, you have those. Yep. Uh, yeah. Go ahead and make that. Go ahead and make that roll. It's gonna be a control roll or a um, uh, or a strike roll. One of the two. 
and as he throws it, uh, I'm, I'm going to use in the trenches. Uh, I've done enough uh, dangerous journalism work to know to keep ourselves safe. I also know the metro tunnels, and in between where the wall and the ground hits, there is a very narrow margin I where if it. you hug it, it, it is just enough just of enough. an angle between the wheels and the bottom of the train where there is a maybe space. So while right. we're you will not die. It might, that is it, the it, idea. It, it might potato peel us a little bit. I don't know. <laughs> okay, that is a five. That's a five. That's a mixed success. So, uh, describe for me what this scene is like as the grenade blows out part of the seal oh here. Um, uh, I get us all the way back because we need distance from the grenade for yep. this to work, which means that we are going to have to run right in front of the train oh, what? right what? before yeah. it's about. Yeah. So I'm going to go and I'm like, don't worry, I this with my brothers all the time down here. All right, three, two. What? Just <laughs> woo! And I'm just gonna grab the back of your shirt and leap right in front of the train to get through the hole in the wall. You just hear Auntie B on the other side just scream, Sean! <laughs> There's an explosion. Shrapnel of steel flies towards all three of you on the other side. Everybody's taking a body because of that. The two of yeah. you barely make it through in time. You're both gonna take brain for this. Um, because the stress of seeing literally a train about to strike you Ooh, uh, as you just like in if it was a tenth of a second longer you would not have made it through but your heel clears the wall just as whoom the train comes by and you're on the other side I feel like we need to catalog everything that's on your person also thank you <laughs> that was pretty fun <laughs> that was pretty fun you and your brothers Lived a very different life than the one that I had. It's not fun, John! Oh, shit. It's not fun! It's a little fun! He's at this point, because Annie B is not laughing. She's not having fun. And Annie B grabs Sean by the arm mm -hmm. and kind of pushes him up against the tunnel with like a little bit of like, oh, fuck, Annie B so got, like, you didn't expect this from an old lady. Sure. Old lady strength. And old lady strength out of nowhere. <laughs> and I look at you down in the eye, and I say, I made your mother a promise that I would keep you safe. Don't, don't do that again. Please. Give me a goddamn heart attack, all right. You Let's go. It. You got it, Annie B. You push forward. Stamp it on the yeah. ground. Yeah, it's good shit. <clears throat> you gotta get worse shit if you're gonna make Molotovs out of the thing. I, d I didn't think. Ooh, ooh, pass that over here too. It's just what was available. Um, Wiping the I blood. also, just because we're, we're showcasing the game, yeah. uh, I have adrenaline rush, which means for each mark I take, I immediately refresh a drive point of my choice. So oh, that brain awesome. mark, so literally taking marks, like that that train thing, <laughs> I am invigorated. Yeah, I'm doing yeah. better. Yeah. Helps you out. Is that the oh. first mark you took? First mark I've taken. Holy crap. Wow, what the That's hell? Awesome. What did you what did you refresh? What drive did you refresh? Always nerve. Always nerve every, nerve. Nerve, and nerve every, every time, time. baby. Yeah. Okay. You don't even have to check, use, baby. It's nerve every time. And I'm gonna use my in the trenches to okay. uh, once per assignment you may burn one cunning resistance to soak a body mark. Oh yeah. Dunoy. Um, That's once per assignment. Oh, so a soak would happen as you take the body mark. As I take the body mark. All right. Correct. I'll wait, I'll wait so until. if you take another body mark, you'll this isn't did we I mean this is a broken lighthouse. Yes. Hey, yes. Marion, if we go back and tell somebody, who do you think they're gonna send? We're already here. He's got a point. They'll just send us right back. Okay. At least maybe we'll get some answers. Would certainly explain why this place has fallen vulnerable to Creatures. I want to speak for all of us. Does anyone have any particular knowledge about restarting, repairing ancient lighthouses? No, not at all. I do have a relevant textbook. <gasps> you do? You brought a book? Then? That's better than I nothing. I always have a book with me, Sh Mr. Just Finishy. wanted to make sure we had something before we, you know. Um, I pull open the book and I, uh, Flip to see if there's... So this, yep, correct. What what needs to be done for it to exist? Well, let's get up in there first. Yeah, good book. Um, at least we'll have something to use. All right. Kibble bomb? 
Stepping up. Yeah. Bottom of the ninth. Beatrix Monroe pitching for the South Soffit Sidewinders. <laughs> All right, let's. Cinderella let's story. Let's do it. Like the. Crowd like the, on its feet here. Like the bird lady from Home Alone 2. Uh huh. I'm start shuffling <laughs> through, and well. I go. Me? Uh, clamoring to get to the kibble that you've thrown out, you see a clear pathway forward. You have a few moments here while they're, while they're distracted. What do you want to do? Great, I love that. We get the dogs mm -hmm. snapping. They turn to see you, see the rope, but the kibble is too enticing for them. The blood is really what's enticing to them. Uh, they are digging at the ground now, hoping to get more. You throw more their way as the rope goes up. Go and make a control roll for me since it's under pressure to do this. It's about 25 feet up, 20, 25 feet up in the air. Under pressure. Oh, it's a four. <laughs> it's a four. Uh, great. Uh, the rope catches on the lighthouse. At that point, the dogs turn. A couple of them see all of you gathered at the base and start sniffing your direction, leaving behind the food that has now run out. What mm. would you all like to do? Uh... I think, I think I start. Uh, I'm going to take. I'm gonna. I'm gonna take the the bullets out of uh, my shotgun, mm -hmm. the ones that I have loaded, and I'm gonna hold it by the barrel with the butt on the end of it. Say, all right, it's good. I'm not gonna waste bullets on fucking squid dogs. No. Gonna, <laughs> um, <laughs> you're going to bat right now, Finity? Coming up to the plate, young Sean Michael Finity, <laughs> South Stop It's Own. There's um, two, three, four of these squid. Uh, Last guild. Oh, no. that's right. Oh, give me a right. Do. There you go. Give me a blow up before. Yeah. So, as they are starting to climb up, I'm gonna have you make that strike roll for me. Uh, uh, keep that. Uh, that is keep a it? five. Okay. That's yeah, a five. Uh, so, uh, describe the scene for me as these dogs start descending upon you and you just start like going to bat. Um, <laughs> I start to, um, uh, I, st yeah. I walk in um, and I think it starts funny and uh -huh. starts to get a little, Sweet. it's like, Stepping up to the plate, number one pitcher, Squid Dog, coming in <laughs> from the Red Lamp Raiders, and oh, it's out of the park! God, God! And just slamming into the dog over and over again, uh, and uh, just like truly. Like, the, the more you start hitting them, the more they start descending until you're going left and right and forward and back and forward and back and hitting as they come more and more descending upon you. Uh, as the as the squid dogs start, um, uh, their own blood starting to pour. The, mm. the dogs themselves start tearing apart their own counterparts. Oh, wow. um, feeding frenzy. Eating them, a feeding frenzy happening as two of them leap towards you. You hit one, but one grabs onto your arm with that five. It uh, ah. beaks down onto your arm, and then you feel the like piercing of. Uh, of of the beak like tearing into your flesh, you're gonna take um, uh, you're gonna take a body and a bleed here as that mm. happens. Mm. Uh, but you you're able to shake that off, uh, blood pouring down your arm um, as as we see you still holding. Uh, true, as all of you have are going to well, roll. We're gonna. So you're gonna roll. Let's okay, go ahead and do so it. I got the I, I got my two. One's gilded. I got an. And you see Sean down below. Finity oh, up the rope. <laughs> The ump's nowhere to be found! It's chaos out here, folks! Um, I'm gonna have you make a roof roll to get to that rope in move time. It, oh, move it. We see, we see, uh, if you, if, are you trying to get to the rope in time? Is that what you're trying to do here? What do you I wanna think, do? I think, I think with to, like, LT, I think with my lieutenant yelling, move it, move it, something autonomic, my, just my, like, uh -huh. spine moves of, like, so many drills over and over again. Yep. But I think without him there, I don't go for the rope. Uh, uh, I okay. just stay here fighting dogs until I'm dead. Okay. That's an order, Finity, up the <laughs> rope! Uh, we see- You got it, LT! Um, <laughs> we see the turn as you run towards the rope, and the scene here that all of you are watching from above is all of the dogs, like a wave of dogs, descending upon Finity here, um, nipping at his heels. He's running as fast as he can to grab the rope and climb up it. Go ahead and make that move or control roll for me, whichever you'd prefer. Let's do control. Okay. Roll up. Here we go. Uh, that is a six. That's a wow, six, nice. it's a full That's success right. here. Uh, you grab the rope and you start pulling yourself up. As you do, the dogs descend and clamor on top of each other, trying to get to you. You feel like their beaks at your feet. And as you do, you watch as the rope below you gets devoured. Wow. As they chase you, almost like piranha. Uh, and you pull yourself just out of range of them. You pull your feet up and you're swinging by the rope, but the dogs are leaping up to get you. You finally 
pull yourself all the way back up and you're standing with the rest of your circle in the top that is now the bottom of the lighthouse and the pulsing gets worse. What a bunch of bombs. They got no batters. They got no pitching. You did good, Ferdy. Well done. Very good. Mr. I'll see what I can do for you later. Five for five, betting a thousand. Taking care of that. What's that? Arm. What arm? Oh, oh sure. that's them. Did you I... even feel it? Oh. <laughs> that was good. I uh, rip a piece of the bottom of my frayed hemline on my apron off, and I just do a real quick wrap of his arm. No, not your nice dress. <sighs> Oh, this old thing. <laughs> All right, come on, let's figure out how to do this. I'm gonna this reload, thing. shoulder the shotgun. Um, All right. I'll, I'll go up to Sean as he as he starts moving forward. You know, if you need me to pee on it to disinfect it, I'm happy to do that. Why do you keep asking a pee? <laughs> <laughs> we cut out of there into all of you moving forward. Ray, immediately. That's how we help them. Uh, you have the book with the astrolabe, right? I do, with um, the instructions on how to... Uh, I'm just gonna look at you and go, all the humor has faded from me, and I go, run! And I'm just gonna rush forward and fire into this thing's face. I love it. Go ahead and make a strike roll for me. As that happens, you two are running towards... Running you're gonna towards. have to run towards the rift, the rift, which is towards the creature, because that's where the astrolabe is. I just uh, tell him, don't look at it, just run. Question for you. Yeah. Can sharpshooter be used more than once? Yes. In single action. Great. Okay, then we're gonna do that. Um... Uh, all right, rolling six dice. Great. It's a high stakes roll. Ooh. Double sixes. Six on the gilded die. Double sixes. Double sixes. Six. Shoot it. <sighs> Baby. Uh, uh, what does it look like here as you line up? So give me, in this moment, you've seen something like this before in your time with the Echo, or with the, um, uh, Nomad. With the, yeah, with Nomad, with the Ghost uh, uh, Platoon. Is that what it was called? Uh, yeah. Describe for me what moment you've had like this before that prepared you for this moment. I hadn't seen Marion in over a year. My two brothers were already dead. And I didn't know. They were way behind enemy lines. I moved in, on the cover of night. We knew, Dr. Nero said, some kind of intelligence came back. There was a weapon, something bleed in it, other side of the flare. Had to move in quick, burn that place to the ground. Only problem is one of the doors weren't locked. I saw what we were doing there. They had gotten out through a back window and I found them. I don't know how young they were, but they were what we were there to destroy. One after the other. No escapes, no survivors. We were told they were dangerous, otherworldly, horrors. Their faces looked perfectly human. I've seen this thing before, because when I looked up to make sure my job was done, this was the face staring at me out of the mirror. And you let it fire. As that happens, the creature drops the thread on you. Your soul comes back into your body. You find yourself awakened on the ground as danger has passed. Uh, over and roll the hand off and drop down to lie down like, like oh my God. hold his head. Mary, you no, 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 no. Hey, 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 hey. There's nothing wrong with me. There's 
something wrong with me. Is there a... Does any part of the scar become visible on Marion? It starts to move up my oh. neck. Just little, little bits of it. Um, I'll wait until your breathing slows down, like to the point where it's just like t- adrenaline has to crash and it has to come yeah, down a little bit. And I think I'm holding, and it's very, I'm like moving a thumb like across your head, like, and like holding you so that you have someone there. I bury myself into your chest. I'm gonna wait a long time until I can feel that your adrenaline has come down. And when you know, the first time you look at it and see that I can see it too, I'm gonna hold you really close and look at you and go. Want me to pee on it? Would you? If you asked, and I'm just gonna hug you so close. I squeeze the hardest squeeze I think you've ever, ever felt. I got you, bud. Will you do it in front of everyone else? I get shy. (laughs) I hate you. (laughs) But I love you. But I love you. Oh, God. And I'm going to just help him get up and get out of here. I mean, one from you feel my body Mm -hmm. less strong. I'm moving one from strike 